Doomsday Clock is one of the most anticipated comic book events of the year, and the series is set to permanently change the fabric of the multiverse as the Watchmen invade the world of DC. We're going one-on-one -on -one with Jeff John so he can fill us in on his master plan. Jeff, thanks for joining us on DC All Access. Sure, happy to be here. Now let's talk a little bit about Doomsday Clock. What is it? Tell us a little bit about the journey of this epic tale. Uh, sure, it really, I mean, it comes from a story idea that developed over a long period of time with myself and Gary Frank. You know, at the base level, you can say, well, it's a DC universe meets some aspects of the Watchmen universe, but, um, but it's much, much more than that. Well, let's talk about Gary Frank on this. He has been an amazing DC artist for so long. Why was he the perfect artist for this series? He's not the perfect artist for the series. He's the only artist for the series. If Gary Frank hadn't signed on board for Doomsday Clock, yet if he had said, this story isn't something I mm -hmm. would draw, I, I wouldn't do the story. The thing that Gary brings to this mm -hmm. and the thing that he brings to every comic book he's ever drawn is emotion. Everything's a very unique, an individual look at, at a moment in the story. And that's the perfect melding of comic books, I think. Where, what do you see is the emotional story of Doomsday Clock? It's about a belief system. It's about perception versus reality. Uh, it's about a lot of different things. And I think you'll see all the characters moving in one direction of trying to find Dr. Manhattan for various different reasons. Mm -hmm. And that journey is kind of a journey to to find a lot of truths and answers and um, mysteries that they might not even be aware of. Now speaking about the characters, the Watchmen characters are going to be meeting the DC characters. Do you find yourself... Some of them. Some of them, yes. Uh, do you find yourself writing the DC universe differently once they interact with that universe? Yeah, when you're dealing with you know, someone like um, Dr. Manhattan side by side with Superman, well you're going to dig a lot deeper into Superman than you have before in some respects because that conversation between them is just gonna mm -hmm. demand it. Can we talk a little bit about Rorschach? Now we've learned that he is in the book. It's a very exciting thing. Why does Rorschach deserve and need to be in Doomsday Clock? He's kind of the center point as far as the personification of the entire thematic of the series. And, and so we really, uh, we needed the character in there. And, um, and there's a lot of twists and turns to it all. So I don't wanna get into it too much mm -hmm. But, uh, but when you pick up issue one, all will become very, very clear, very, very quickly. Another thing I want to pick your brain about is putting the Superman symbol on top of the clock. Even towards the title, you have two ties to the characters. You have Clock to Manhattan, Doomsday to Superman. Can you talk about why, where did the idea for the Superman symbol on that clock come from? You know, we played with, oh, there's a smiley face with the blood and there's the ticking clock. And, and I think it was Brian Cunningham, the, our editor, who suggested a very clean look. One day he sent it over, he said, what about this? because it's all about a countdown to Dr. Manhattan and Superman. And so we just, when we saw it, we just thought it was, it was pretty brilliant. We liked it and that's where it came from. Now, also seeing these pages, we've seen that you've taken on a lot of the nine panel grid that Dave Gibbons famously used in Watchmen. As a writer and also for Gary as an artist, what has it been like working in that system for that type of storytelling? Uh, I love it, I absolutely love it. And Gary really loves it. It's a very different, type of storytelling that in anything I've ever done, anything that Gary's ever done. It's, you know, it's not about necessarily saying, okay, we're gonna stick to nine panel grids because of X, Y, we're doing it because it allows us the density of storytelling that the story demands. And Dave did it so brilliantly in the original Watchmen and the variations he did throughout the book. Uh, and Gary, of course, is heavily inspired by that, mm -hmm. as am I. Um, and again, it goes to why Gary is the only artist that could ever draw that, because there's very few artists, I think, that can pull off that kind of detail and action and emotion when you're dealing with a nine panel grid. That's the news for now, but remember to tune in to DCL Access for your daily fix on all your favorite comic books, movies, TV shows, video games, collectibles, and more. See you next time, super friends.